All right then, we've arrived at the final video in this series, in which we talk about how Cutter Consortium can help with your ALM strategy. Now, the first uh, video in this series, we talked about the general problems of ALM, then we got into the flow of value, the vertical dimension of, of ALM, making sure that it, what you produce is of value because it's in alignment with corporate objectives. We talked about ways of handling the, the complexity of the situation and uncertainty so this doesn't become a, a completely impossible mission to try to master all the moving parts of a highly complex organization. And that's really where we can come in and help with, first of all, helping to assess the status quo of ALM in your organization. Now we talked a bit about earlier about how a lot of what goes into ALM is certainly measurable. Uh, so flow at the different levels of ALM strategy, that's something that's definitely measurable that we can help assess. Alignment, are we producing value? Are the different moving parts of our organization meshing with one another? Uh, are, are things happening at the team level? They're are working against the larger corporate objectives? Are there uh, brilliant cho tools choices or ridiculous tools choices that don't necessarily contribute to uh, the improvement of flow in the software value stream? That's something that we can certainly help with as well. And really kind of assessing the, the value of the efforts uh, for you in the invention part of the of the innovation process, the people building the technology, and also value for the consumers, the, the people, the customers you're ultimately building and delivering this technology for. So we can do this assessment and usually when we work with clients, this is uh, the, the natural place to start. And we will you know, bring to bear the standard ways in which we would measure these elements of ALM strategy and also possibly uh, uh, add or modify components of it to fit your particular circumstances. We then help clients with building an ALM strategy uh, and refining it. So first, what are the priorities for change? Where are the places where you can get the most out of your investment for the increase, increasing the, the flow of value or alignment? Uh, that's something we, we help our clients with based on our experience uh, with uh, working with clients directly in the past as well as our research. We can help develop measurable targets for the important parts of ALM, flow, alignment, and value. And, and of course, picking the right metrics is a, is a, a very uh, important part of any strategy. You want to have enough information to make adjustments but you also don't want to have too much information or really uh, metrics that, that incent the wrong kind of behavior on uh, the part of people in, involved in software innovation. Uh, we can identify some of the more you know, tactical choices that you can make about uh, the tools you use, what team level methodology you use, you use what uh, lower level techniques one might use, what higher level frameworks one might adopt, uh, we have experience in uh, everything from lean to scaled agile to you name it uh, and in the frameworks department uh, so that we can help make these kinds of strategic choices as well. And we can help you with the ongoing process of assessment and, and adjustment. You build the metrics, uh, you look at the results. Are you concerned that what you're looking at is a false positive? Are you concerned that you are uh, really not paying an, an enough attention to something that's a warning sign. Um, are you able to forecast in the future and do more than just look at the, uh, at the trailing indicators? We have uh, a lot of effort going on right now into forecasting uh, as, a, as a leading indicator of where ALM efforts are going. We can also help identify where disruption is going to overcome some of the inertia of, of organizations than kind of the natural resistance to change. Agile and lean transformation is, is by now one of the most standard ways of doing that. Uh, but certainly, as I mentioned, forecasting is something that uh, is, is disruptive and, and analytics, uh, just being able to 
chart the way that the, the flow of value is working in the organiz organization sometimes is the starting point of disruptive change. Uh, there are techniques like serious games deliberately designed in order to change the interactions among people, change the rules of interaction so that you can get some better results, so you can induce some disruption into organizations where the old rules are not producing the desired results. Uh, we can look at platforms as a way of inducing disruption into the organization, cloud, mobile, you name it. Uh, those, those are ways in which sometimes disruption, uh, disruption happens profitably. And if there's ever something that we don't encompass as part of a, a standard engagement of an application lifecycle management, one of the great strengths of Cutter is the access to experts, that we have uh, a staff of people who are renowned in their fields. So even beyond where I am in the organization right now as part of the, 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 the Agile practice, uh, there are people who are working on enterprise architecture, cloud platforms, you name it, in the organization that we will, as a kind of standard practice, pull into engagements whenever we need to, uh, to, to address a particular need. So you have this you know, very, very deep and wide reservoir of, of knowledge and expertise that you can draw on as well on an as-needed basis. So while a lot of what I was talking about uh, concerning application lifecycle management uh, may be new in the way that they think about it, I uh, hope that what we've described is something that resonates with you about the kinds of challenges that you're facing and what seems like a plausible way to, to address them. If you have any further questions, here's how to contact me directly, or you can uh, call Cutter Consortium. And if you've reached here, the fifth in the, in the series of videos, I thank you for listening to all of them. And uh, look forward to speaking to you soon, I hope. Thank you.